Coconut flour is a byproduct of coconut. This is usually achieved after blending coconut to extract the juice. So, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own coconut flour or coconut powder. It's quite easy to make. It's a good alternative to wheat flour. Whatever you can do with wheat flour, you can do with this. You can use this for baking, biscuits, cakes, and also you can use it to make coconut fufu. I'm going to be showing you how you can make this at home. To make coconut flour, you will need matured coconut. I'm going to start by removing the brown skin of the coconut using a pillar. You can use a knife. I'm done peeling the coconut skin. I'm going to bring the coconut into a bowl of water. Just rinse this briefly to remove the skin attached to the flesh of the coconut. After washing the coconut, I'm going to cut them into tiny pieces to make it easy for blending. Into tiny pieces, I'm going to add this to blender to blend this to the blender. You can add some warm water or cold water to slightly cover this and blend. Okay, so I have blended this into a smooth paste. I'm going to line my strainer with a cheesecloth then pour the, the blended coconut into it and strain. If you don't strain this, after drying this you're going to end up with coconut butter so it's important to strain this first to remove the coconut milk out from the pulp. I'm just going to squeeze everything out leaving the pulp. After straining the pulp, here is the coconut milk. You can save this for, for your gravy sauce or for anything that calls for coconut milk. As for me, I'll be using the milk to make golden tea. You can watch out for golden tea as our next video. I'm going to spread out the coconut pulp in a tray. You can dry this in the oven for at most three to four hours or you use your dehydrator but this honey over here so i'm going to leave this under the sun to dry after sun drying this for 24 hours this is what it should look like it's flaky and easily separated okay so we can blend this right away i'll bring this into the blender just going to blend this a few times until the pulp turns to a smooth powder. After blending this, this is what it looks like. Okay, using a blender may not be as efficient as using a grinding mill. If you have a very powerful blender, you can just blend this into powder. However, we are going to save this to have a fine flour. If you are left with larger granules like this, you can add it to the blender to blend the second time. This is the powder we've got after sieving this. Now we have this fine coconut flour. You can now use this for your baking or use it to make coconut fufu or coconut swallow. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any question, you can leave it in the comment section. Please remember to subscribe to Oni's Food Hill, like this video and also share it with your friends. Happy cooking! Bye!